good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have brand new WWE action figure news for you. Now, this is crazy to me because I had no idea that this was coming, man. I had zero clue that we were going to be getting anything today. I didn't I didn't know anything about it. They just kind of dropped it on my head, and I was like, oh, this is, this is terrific. And I know you guys are going to be excited. I honestly feel like today's reveals were better than the reveals the other day. Remember when we had reveals the other day, and everybody was kind of just destroying them in the chat on the live stream? I feel like today was a much better day. So with those things being said, man, let's go ahead and dive straight into what we have going on today, man, for all of this news. We have a lot of news. I'm, I'm very excited. Let's go ahead and start off with some brand new Ultimate Editions. Now, we did get a few of them shown off here, which I think look really, really good. Let's start off with the Ultimate Edition Alexa Bliss figure. This is very nice right here, and I think you guys are going to really enjoy this. As you guys can see, on the render image, doesn't look the most impressive, right? It, it kind of looks kind of plain Jane. It's not very, you know, different. It, it does have the white shoes, which I do love, and you do get the interchangeable head sculpts. You get the, you know, like the pigtails head sculpt, and then you get kind of the possessed demon looking Alexa Bliss head sculpt, but what really makes this figure awesome is it's going to come with like three or four cloth goods, so you're going to end up with a lot more accessibility, a lot more playability, interchangeability, all those different things, so you guys will notice with these pictures that, that Bill has, these are screenshots taken from the live stream, so she's not only going to come with a red shirt, but she also has a black shirt, and she also has, I don't know, like over overall dress, I guess is what you would call it. I don't even know what you call that uh, I'm not very big on terms there, but she comes with two dresses. She has a black dress, and then she has her possessed dress with the Alexa Bliss like paint splatter and logo and stuff like that to go with the possessed head. I love this Ultimate Edition. Really great Ultimate Edition. I think it looks great. She has her white gloved hands, as you guys can see there. She has her double jointed arms. This is a fantastic Ultimate Edition. I really like this a lot. I think like in person, it's going to be really awesome as well, and it looks really good. I, I think we're looking at a really good figure here. Probably won't get it till the beginning of 2022. So this is going to be an early contender for figure of the year already. I can just tell how nice it looks already. So the Alexa Bliss Ultimate Edition does seem to be as advertised. It looks like it's going to be great. I appreciate it. I wanted to get this one out of the way first just because just I wanted to start off with Ultimate Editions. We do have some more Ultimate Editions to show off, but I wanted to start off with the Alexa Bliss. And so after we dive into Alexa Bliss, man, let's go ahead and dive into this Triple H. You guys remember the Triple H, the DX Triple H version with the, the red iron cross with the DX over the top there. This is one of the figures that I was really looking forward to. I've always wanted a Triple H from Mattel with handlebar mustache. Now, the only thing I don't like about it is honestly, like, I love the handlebar mustache, but I feel like, to me, it looks like they took the old Ultimate Edition head sculpt made the hair a little longer, and then just put the handlebar mustache over it. I wasn't, like, the biggest fan of that Triple H head sculpts, the one that came with the first Ultimate Edition. So these are, I mean, it's not a bad head sculpt. It still looks great. You can still make really cool fix-ups with the Triple H, and I love the DX gear and all the different accessories we're going to get with this guy. I just think the head sculpts could be a little bit better, in my opinion, but I do love that we're getting the Triple H. I think it looks cool. Can't wait to review it, see what it's about. This is one of my favorite DX shirts ever. I know it's kind of like like, a lot of people don't really like that run of DX, but I even had this shirt. I think it was like 10 or 11, and I loved them, and so I had this shirt. I even wore it to school. It even has, like, their asses out on the back, and I wore that shirt to elementary school all the time, which always cracks me up. So this is a good nostalgia pop for me, but I think that this uh, this figure looks cool. I'm still excited for it. We could always do fix-ups and stuff, but... I feel like the head sculpt is a little bit docked in points there, but you get the DX hat, you get all the accessories, really love the gear. This one should be coming very soon, I imagine, because we even have a picture of Steve holding the figure, so that's really cool too. So those two Ultimate Editions should be, I don't know when the Alexa Bliss is coming, I don't even remember that thing being up for pre-order, so I don't know when that could come, but since they already have the, the render and they already have the figure in hand, I don't know what that means, you know, we'll have to wait on that, but I think it looks great. Looks terrific. All the good things. So there is two Ultimate Editions. We also got a render image of the, of the you know, the new generation arena early bird Macho Man special. So we don't have any images of Diesel or Doink the Clown, but we do have a render image of the upcoming Macho Man. And I will be honest with you, very plain Jane Macho Man, but I remember the first Macho Man Ultimate Edition. I thought it was going to be really plain. I was like, eh, not the best. And then when I got it in hand, I was like, damn, this is a good football figure. So maybe we'll get the same thing here. 
Macho Man's head sculpts look to be the same as his last Ultimate Edition, but they also said that he's going to come with a cloth jacket, a really nice cloth jacket, and a really nice cloth t-shirt. So he's going to get two entrance goods there for the, you know, with cloth and stuff. He also has his two interchangeable head sculpts, the hat and glasses to match, and then he has the hat with the uh, the headset underneath there for his commentary. You get Mike holding hands, and you get the pointer hands. Not to mention the fact that we also are getting the Ultimate Edition Diesel, the Ultimate Edition Doink, and then the whole, you know, authentic scale ring and the entrance stage there so I feel like our money was definitely worth it especially if you got the early bird special there but the macho man looks pretty good uh kind of like plain Jane here in the render like I said but I think once we get the accessories on there it's in person it'll be a lot better of a figure so like I'm kind of low-key excited about this figure so we'll just have to see about that but macho man Alexa Bliss Triple H were all three ultimate editions I thought all of that looked really good today one thing that was also revealed to us which was really interesting after this I'll dive into elite 91 because I know you guys want to see this freaking RVD because it looks incredible. But this was really shocking to me, man. We got new Top Picks Elite shown off. And I'm, I'm thinking to myself, is this for 2023? Like, is this the... You know how, like, we had the Top Picks figure shown off. And then we got even more Top Picks with the Goldberg, Roman, and Jeff. And now we're getting more Top Picks. This has to be next year's Top Picks, right? Or are they doing two or three waves of Top Picks a year? I lose track of them, man. Like, I, I don't know what's going on here. But look at this Rock figure. We have this Rock flashback figure... In the blue outline trunks, a gear that I've always wanted for the Rocks. You get the Raw is War mic. Same repeated head sculpt, but I do believe he will have double jointed arms, which is awesome. He has the sunglasses, interchangeable hands. I wish he had the Just Bring It hands. Like, he has the flat hand, but I wish he had, like, the Ultimate Edition Just Bring It hand, if you know what I'm saying. So, that would have been really cool, but I love the way this looks. And not only do you get the nice blue gear, you're probably wondering what other accessories he's going to come with. He is going to come with his Rock jersey, bro. The black and red rock jersey with the sunglasses. Raw is war. Mike, he also has elbow pads. This jersey is sick as hell. So we even get more cloth goods here integrated into the top picks wave. Just the WWE elites and the action figures, man, just continue to get better and better. This rock figure looks fantastic. I know it's a repeat head sculpt, which does bother me. Would have been cool to see them use one of the Ultimate Edition head sculpts, like the screaming one. Or something like that to get those heads reintroduced into the line. Since if you missed out on that Ultimate Edition, it's like impossible to get now. Like in the aftermarket, it's like two or three hundred dollars. Would have been really nice to see them redo one of those screaming head sculpts or something. However, this rock figure is really great. And let me show you this Rey Mysterio, bro. This Rey Mysterio right here in the light pink and black is dope as hell. This is one of the best Rey Mysterios I've ever seen. They did use a lot of black colorway, similar to how they've done with a lot of Rey Mysterios. But to change it up and give us the pink is so sick. The only thing is, is I doubt we get the Macho Man gear now in the yellow and pink. But since we're getting this black and pink, and look at it in Bill's hands, dude. Like, look how sick. That pink looks so good. I know it's kind of like a, a repaint of his Elite 87 or his Elite 88. I think it's Elite 88 figure. But damn, bro, what a great looking figure. I think it was Elite 87. I don't remember. Got the singlet. Got the pink and pink mask with the black trim. Looks like a like an MDT Live Rey Mysterio. This is a very sick figure. Love the way it looks. It I can't tell if it has double jointed arms. I would imagine it does have double jointed arms, but it's kind of difficult to tell at this juncture from the picture that Bill has there with it in hand. But man, what a good looking figure, man. I love the Rey Mysterio. I love the Rock. I thought both of those were great. And I'm just excited to see if they add a third figure or what the fourth figure is going to be. Those are going to be really great as well. So hopefully we'll get to see, you know, who's added to that line. I'm guessing, it, I mean, in all honesty it's probably gonna be a Roman Reigns I'd really like it to be a John Cena but we'll have to see about that you know uh, but uh, th those top picks figures looked amazing. And after that, man, I had to get into Elite Series 91. Now, let's go ahead and dive into it, man. The whole wave looks freaking amazing. I think 2022, if these are included in 2022's ranking, man, they're going to be incredible. Like, th these look insane, man. Let's start off with the GOAT. We got to start off with RVD. I know you probably thought I was talking about John Cena, but it is RVD here, man. Look at this figure, dude. Look at the tiger stripes. It looks even more beautiful than the render. It looks more even beautiful than what I saw in my mind. You got the orange ombre into the white, the tiger stripes. You got the skull design there. What's really cool is I ordered some shorts from Chalkline that have this design on them. Can't wait for them to come in, man. They they look incredible. I love this gear. One of my favorite gears of all time. Got the double jointed arms. Got the RVD expression hands there. Uh, great looking head sculpt. 
He does have massive knee pads on, which is pretty accurate, but I'm going to switch it out for the smaller ones just for some added articulation there. But damn, bro, what a beautiful looking figure. Cannot wait to have this in hand. RVD is stealing the day. He's stealing the show right there. Outside of RVD, man, we also have Hulk Hogan. Now, I don't know how many images of the Hulk Hogan we got, but I will do uh, as many images as we have here. Looks great. You know, you got the bow, you got the shirt, you got the bandana, the glasses, the knee brace. I think some people were upset about the details in the tights, which I totally understand. However, it is another Hulk Hogan. It's a great base for a Hulk Hogan. Double jointed arms looking really sweet. I thought they said that they were going to give him the super tan look. Maybe that's just for flashback Hogans, but this seems to have a lighter skin tone similar to what his Ultimate Edition had, the Hollywood Hulk Hogan, so we'll see about that, but he doesn't have a cloth good shirt. He has a rubber shirt, which is kind of uh, interesting to me, so we'll have to see, you know, about that. They did say that it is going to be rubber, so I don't know how you guys feel about that, but the Hulk Hogan figure does look really excellent. I'm still excited for it regardless. Uh, another Hulk Hogan to add to the collection. Up next, RVD. I mean, this set already knocks it out of the park, and we haven't even got into, like, the current day talent that's in this wave. Now, if we continue to move forward, guys, outside of these two, we also have a look at my boy Kevin Owens, and just look at this, bro. Look at this head sculpt. Look at a great stun the world fight Owens fight. I know it's kind of similar to his other figures. Like, I know it's not the most exciting. It's very, very similar to his others. It's just a change in shirt. He does have double-jointed arms. He did go with white wrist tape this time instead of the black wrist tape. We did see the render image, and we kind of saw it in the live stream with Bill that last time. But this head sculpt looks really good. I think it looks just like KO. Nice, long beard going on. Shorts look good. I love the blue laces. This is a great-looking figure. He also is going to come with the ladder, as we expected. Uh, just a great-looking Kevin Owens. As the big Kevin Owens guy that I am, this is a beautiful figure. I'm very excited to add it to the collection. I like the way this looks. We also have Samuel Zane right here. Sammy Zane looks incredible, too, man. What a great head sculpt. He comes with this Sammy Award. He, uh, what's also really cool is that his Sammy Award was his Elite 63 Sammy Zane Elite. And it was in real life is what he used to make his Sammy Award. And now they made the Sammy Award into another figure which is in the Elite line, which was his last Elite. So it's kind of cool to see an Elite figure of his be used on TV and then remade into figure form again. So that's pretty cool right there. I think that's pretty awesome. The jacket looks insane. The pants look great. I love the hat, the head sculpt. All of it looks incredible. Only gripe I have about this is that since they did go with like the Colonel Mustafa legs or the Sergeant Slaughter legs, you are going to end up with boots that are that are taller than he actually wears. But that's not the biggest deal, you know. It's going to be taller boots than he wore uh, on his other previous Elite figures. So that's just something to, you know, just a note there. It's not like a huge deal. Not the biggest deal in the world. It'll still be a slap figure. I think it's going to look great in hand. It, it's just amazing, man. All these figures and their details and stuff is just incredible. But outside of Sami Zayn, man, we also have Bianca Belair. We already knew about this one. You guys know that we have the... You know, the WWE Women's Championship here, the SmackDown version. She is in her Royal Rumble gear, I think, in like the kind of like comic book inspired gear. I love this. I think the head sculpt looks really good. Believe it or not, I think this head sculpt looks more than uh, than her other head sculpt. So I think this is a really good head sculpt here. I like Bianca Belair a lot. Her last figure in Elite 81 was insane. This one looks insane as well. Hope she comes with a jacket or something. I don't know if she will. She does have her earrings there. We'll have to see at a later date. But the Bianca Belair looks really good. We also have Austin Theory. Now, I'm not an Austin Theory guy, but he looks great. Like, the formula looks really good. The double-jointed arms. I love, like, the X-Men, you know, Johnny Gargano-style gear that he's got going on here in navy and yellow. And I don't know about you, but it kind of looks like he has a bobblehead. Like, his head looks really, really big from this angle. And this one specific picture reminds me of Small Soldiers, where uh, the Major Chip Hazard mascot comes into the room. Maybe I can plug in a thing there. That's just what, like, oh my god, it looks just like it. it it's literally that. That is what that embodies right there in figure form. But that Austin Theory figure, while I'm not a big fan of the guy, that figure looks badass. Maybe I'll just have him come onto the show and just, I don't know, I, you just beat somebody's ass just to use the figure. I don't know. But all of Elite 91 looks insane, bro. What an insane, insane, insane wave. Like, holy crap, what a wave. The wave is just freaking ludicrous at how nice it looks. But outside of Elite 91, man, we also have some basic figures. And I'm going to be honest with you, man, these basics do not look very good. But before we get into the basics, man, let's run through the last Elite that we have shown off here, man. Elite Series, I think it's 95, Shotzi Blackheart. Look at this figure, dude. Look at all these tattoos. This figure is going to be insane when it releases. Love how we're getting more and more boot sculpts. She does come with her helmet. Maybe it'll come with a Build-A-Tank. I highly doubt that, but it's still really cool to think about. I think the Shotzi Blackheart figure looks really good. I love the green hair, all the tattoos. She's very 
She's very good figure, you know. She's got the screaming head sculpt, which is kind of surprising, I feel like, for the women's figures. I feel like we don't really get screaming head sculpts. I feel like usually they're all serious face or smiling. We don't get a yelling head sculpt. I, I feel like, besides Mae Young, like, is there another yelling facial expression? At least not to my knowledge, like, coming out of my, you know, t t off the top of my head. But really good looking Shotzi Blackheart figure, like the way that looks. And now we have, like, a streamline of basics that we're going to get through before the end of the video, man. Starting out first, we do have Drew McIntyre. Very plain Jane, nothing too crazy about it. Pretty much just, you know, the Elite 83 figure made into a basic. We have Bobby Fish, who I don't even think is in the company anymore, right? He's been, like, on AEW television and all this other stuff. But he is in his green gear. It's still his last Elite head sculpt. I like the knee pads on the guy, but still nothing worth of noting, I don't think. We also have Seth Rollins. I do have an Elite custom of this, but it's still plain Jane. Uh, same head sculpt as like two or three years ago, right? Like we've been seeing this head sculpt forever now. We need a new Seth Rollins head sculpt. It's been so, so long. We also have Macho Man Randy Savage, uh, kind of plain Jane there. Uh, kind of a cool gear though. I don't think we've seen this gear before, which is cool, but it's, you know, it's like the smiley Macho Man head sculpt that we've seen in the past. We also have Mandy Rose. Now I'm going to be real with you right now, Brad. That Mandy Rose does not look good. First of all, it's very outdated now. But that head sculpt looks dreadful. That is not a good head sculpt. I hate this head sculpt. But you have the blue and the pink versions. Head sculpts look awful to me. We also have Shayna Baszler. She uh, is same head sculpt as before. Black and gold gear. Nothing too immaculate. Very plain Jane. I. It's just, ooh, ooh, man. We also have like a camo green Rey Mysterio. I like the head sculpt. I think the head sculpt's decent. We uh, just, Jesus, what what is this? Look at this painted on singlet with the white under tights there with the camo that's an ugly looking basic right there i just oh my lord i love the head sculpt though i will say there that this is a good head sculpt on this ray but that body is rough we also have santos escobar actually a solid basic i like this basic a lot you got a lot of tattoo detail you got some nice tights going on you get face paint i think this santos escobar i gotta give credit if i'm gonna crap on the crap you gotta give the good where the good is this santos escobar is fire we have keith lee who's no longer in the company but you know it is what it is he's in his singlet there he's got like his black and red gear going on not my favorite figure there we also have joaquin wild and he is the chase in the set so you get the mask with no face paint and then you also get the face paint with the mask there and you also get the chains too so like really cool man i think these two basics are sick you get the you know the suit body you get like a new jacket mold it kind of looks like you get the mask i mean you get some pretty cool stuff with this joaquin wild or if that's how you pronounce it so i like it i like all the things that we got going on with that figure but that is all of our figure reveals man we had a ton of stuff going on today again i did not expect these whatsoever they were just kind of dropped on us out of nowhere so i do apologize for that man but I think they look great. They did a really fantastic job on majority of it. I will say there are some bad, you know, basics and stuff, but man, pretty good looking figures overall. I, I'm excited for the Ultimate Editions. I like the way the Elites look. Elite 91 looks insane, but let me know what your guys' thoughts are of everything down in the comment section below. What's your favorite figure shown? What do you think they could have improved on? Let me know all the things down in the comment section, man, but I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like these basic figures. You cross the line, I've been beaten.